bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Lisa Aprati and this is Comcast Newsmakers. This hour's newsmaker is David Hinderleiter, President and CEO for the Kankakee Regional Chamber of Commerce. Today we'll be talking about the Chamber's four-star accreditation by the United States Chamber of Commerce. Congratulations, by the way, that is incredible. Well, thank you so much, Lisa, and I tell you, we're very, very honored that the uh, U.S. Chamber saw to give us that ranking for this, this time period. So, so what is the criteria to go through an accreditation like this? Well, basically they use benchmarking. Like any other business in America, there's benchmarks for quality service and that sort of thing. They have nine areas of discipline, everything from governance to finance to HR to planning. And we have to fill out an application, fill in a lot of information, sure. and support all that with collateral information, programs, events, uh, substantiate everything. A lot of essay questions, which some of my favorite stuff, right? <laughs> essay questions. But uh, actually, once we fill out that application, we use a team to do that. And it took us about six months, actually, right. to complete the application. It goes into their uh, team and they evaluate it and then they come back with uh, with their findings. So what does this mean to the community when they when everybody found out that uh, you did receive this accreditation? Well I think it, it helps validate who we are in the community and that our business community is being well represented uh, in the eyes of uh, the US Chamber. This whole program got started some years ago when uh, when you had a major corporation like a, a Walmart mm -hmm. come to every community in, in the nation. And they said, how do we tell a good chamber from a bad chamber? Or how do we set some mm -hmm. logistics? So the U.S. Chamber came up with this plan. So we'll set some benchmarks. We'll have people apply to see if they can, uh, can meet those standards okay. and then uh, exceed those standards. So in the end, we got a rating, a four-star rating, and uh, we have uh, goals and objectives to reach five stars. That's terrific. And so I I'm sure that's probably a process that you've already started since it takes so long. Uh, we definitely started it immediately. Okay. And, and that's part of our strategic planning for the next couple of years is how we're going to reach the elevation of five stars. Mm -hmm. And you know whether we ever achieve that or not, we're still uh, striving towards those right. goals every day. And that means to our business community, that they feel like they can be, be assured of a quality product. Right, and obviously you're making a positive impact on the community, hence the reason why you received this award. And I'm, I'm sure it, it's few in Illinois overall that receive a four star or even a five star for that matter. Uh, very few even attempt it. That's, okay. that's the beginning. There are over 7,000 chambers in the United States, less than 10% even attempt it. And uh, so they, you know, the, the criteria is set that you can be accredited, and that means you meet the minimum standards. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been accredited since 1985, and this ongoing process is a five-year reaccreditation process. Okay. So this is not our first time, but this is the first time in the STAR process. Mm -hmm. So like hospitals get STAR ratings and sure. stuff, now chambers have STAR rating. And we actually pioneered a program with the U.S. Chamber for we were the first ones under this evaluation process. Okay. So and it was exciting. And I know a lot has to do with the, the amount of events that you have throughout the year, too. That's also factored in there. And one in particular happens to be coming up on September 12th, which is the annual grilling competition. It certainly is. And uh, that's one of my favorite events because I like to eat. <laughs> uh, I don't get a judge, but uh, uh, we bring amateur grilling teams to, uh, together in one day. And part of the, the chamber's mission is to help people network. Right. So this is one of our fun events where there's no real dress code, you know, the teams get together, they can do whatever they want, they're grilling ribs, they're doing uh, chicken or anything but, those sure. are our three categories. And the exciting thing about this year's competition is that while it's amateur this year, we're bringing in the Kansas City Barbecue Society and they're going to help manage this year's process so we see if we can qualify to have a national competition next year, which would be a professional grilling competition. Oh, that would be great. So this is taking place on September 12th. Everybody can go to the website to find out the information. And I just want to thank you again and congratulate you again for the four-star accreditation. That really is amazing. So congratulations. Well, thank you so much, and we appreciate your support. Absolutely. This hour's newsmaker has been David Hinderleiter of the Kankakee Regional Chamber of Commerce. I'm Lisa Aprati, and thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. The preceding was a presentation of Comcast Newsmakers. Now, back to headline news.